Hi everyone, hope you're well. I'm really excited to say that we're officially starting our uh, ICSI cycle. So basically, um, I had my appointment, I'll put the link below, for my baseline ultrasound and blood tests and everything else that you have to have done. They were all okay, apart from the fact that I had a cyst. Um, it's massive, it's like six centimetres, which to me seems really big. Um, but it's a simple cyst, so that's great, which is which means it's just fluid filled. There's nothing untoward going on. I also had a CA125 blood test done to check, and that was really low in the normal range, so they're not worried that it's anything, you know, scary or anything. It's just basically fluid filled cyst that people get um, in cycles. And but before we start treatment, it has to be aspirated. Um, so I had this problem previously in my last um, IVF cycle, although I'm not sure if it was as big as this. Um, I don't know, I can't remember, I don't think that she did tell me the size, but this one's definitely needs to be sorted, but that one was aspirated anyway. So what I need to do is on my next period, I need to phone them to have it, make an appointment for that to be aspirated and for them to do the baseline scan, which they do it all again, all at your start of your treatment. And then after that on the, I think it's around the 16th or 17th day, I take my first medication which i think is an oral medication this time which is completely different to the last one but we're doing the short protocol this time so that's why presumably it's different and it's uh, called nothisterone i think something along those lines um i get i haven't got all my medicines yet but i'll do a medicines video once i get them all and i you know i know all, everything that we're having and I'll be able to show you them all um and yeah so i'll start that then afterwards i go again for another ultrasound to check that everything's okay and then i start the stimulation medicine which is will definitely be injections um and then again it's one of those things you go back again to have your ultrasound make sure all the follicles are growing properly then you have your egg collection they fertilize the eggs with the sperm and then the embryos are put back in so yeah it's all exciting i'm sure you, you already you knew all that so i don't think i needed to tell you but it was just different because it's a short protocol versus long protocol so there's no down regulation this time which is great um, it means that the whole process is sped up a lot quickly but also the fact that it's not so much on your body pressure on your body because down regulation and then kicking your hormones up again can be quite a lot um, so yeah it's really exciting and scary at the same time i just really want to get this cyst taken care of that's like been a real worry every time i've got a twinge or anything in my side it, it's been really scary because obviously it's big um so i'll be really and for you, I'll be ecstatic when this uh, sister's gone and then I can relax and just prepare myself as much as you can for the cycle. Um, we can only afford to do one cycle, so I'm praying, you know, keeping everything crossed that it works and a lot of can have a little sibling, a brother or a sister or both. Or <laughs> it'd be great if we were able to have one and then also have an embryo to, to freeze. But, you know, I'll be grateful for... A, a positive pregnancy test and a healthy baby whichever way it comes but yeah uh, i decided this time to video my my journey i did a written journal last time for my treatment um but this time i decided that i wanted to film it and yeah come along with the on the journey with us hopefully it'll be positive fingers crossed and we'll get our baby um but if you're doing your cycle around the same time so mine will be towards the end of February going into March. So if you're having your your fertility treatment, whether it's FET, IVF, ICSI, around that time at all, then definitely know, let me know in the comments and then we can be cycle buddies. Um, but yeah, anyway, take care and I'll speak to you in my next update. See you soon. Hey everyone, hope you're well. So it's cyst aspiration day today. I'm all ready virtually to go to the hospital. I'm just gonna get all on ready to go. Um, nervous a little bit but hopefully it'll be all, all okay and then once that's done then we've got the full go ahead to start our treatment cycle for IVF it'll be um in a couple of weeks but yeah excited and I'll speak to you soon take care see you soon it's aspiration time with my little gown <laughs> well, I've just had this is aspirated it was six centimeters by five centimeters and filled over ten of those little tubey things with liquid Eek. <laughs> it's gone yay Hi hey everyone, hope you are. So I thought I'd do a quick, quick few updates. So the first one is, um, as you know, we're doing our IVF treatment, so it's going really well. And we're on the next stage, so sometime this week I'll start my injections. There's two injections that I have to do. And I'm excited about that. I've got my ice in the fridge ready, in the fridge, in the freezer already. Uh, basically, the medicine is quite stingy, but mainly because I bruise really easily and I learned last time quickly that ice is, a, is your best friend because you just apply it to your stomach before you inject. 
and it really helps with keeping the bruising to a minimum and also with the stinging. So I'm really excited about that. Then we've got egg collection and then embryo transfer. It's like, oh, it's going so fast, but I'm a little more apprehensive this time than I was the first time around, mainly because of Alana and I worry about her on egg collection because of Sabi put to sleep and um, you know, they'll be that time away from each other, but hopefully it won't be for too long and they should be able to come come to my room. Uh, I've, I've made her some, I've bought some new little activities and things, so I made her like a little egg collection day activity pack so that, that she'll keep her entertained. She's got a DVD in there, she's got some little games and some books and things, so hopefully that'll keep her entertained. So, yeah, that's what's going on with the IVF. I have. Hi everyone, hope you're well. So, today I'm going to do my IVF medication haul. So I'm going to start in order of what I'll be taking. So the first medication I'll be taking is a tablet called Nostrone. And I'm not sure how long I'll be taking them. I think it's 10 days, but I've got an awful lot there for 10 days. So we'll find out. I have my um, appointment next week where they'll go through all the medications with me. So I'll find out exactly how long I'm supposed to be taking that one for. Hopefully it's only 10 days. Fingers crossed. Okay, then the next medication I'll be taking is called Marianel, and that is to start stimulating the follicles to produce the eggs. And I'll also be taking that, I'll take that by itself, I think, for a couple of days. As I said, I've not had my drug appointment yet, but I'll be taking that one for a couple of days, and then I will also take this one as well at the same time and this is called cetratide and this one stops the follicles from releasing too soon releasing the eggs too soon because obviously in IVF they want to take the eggs out themselves so that's to stop my body from getting carried away and um, ovulating before they're ready for me to do so and then I have my trigger shot which is my HCG shot and that's Gnazi, I think that's how you pronounce it and, and I'll take that um, a couple of days before egg um, egg transfer, <laughs> egg collection. And then I have my uh, progesterone supplements, suppositories. I take those a couple of days before uh, egg collection and then I take them after embryo transfer up until the date that I do my pregnancy test. And then in here is my injection needles. So I've got all my needles for um, reconstituting the liquid. Well, because basically the medication is powder, so you have little little saline liquids to re reconstitute it into an injectable form. So I've got all my um, the large needles are for reconstituting, and then I have the small needles for injecting into my stomach. So that's everything. Oh, and my little sharp spin, and it's purple, which is cool. <laughs> so that's everything for my medication haul. I am doing the short protocol this time. With my first daughter I did the long protocol so this is completely different. Uh, the only medication that I actually took from this protocol, um, as in the same as my first one, is the progesterone and everything else is completely different. Um, hopefully that, that doesn't mean anything bad but I wanted to do the short protocol this time because I think the long protocol is quite difficult on your body. Um, but we'll see. Hopefully this will be okay. Um, fingers crossed. So that's everything. Um, as I said, my drug, my medication appointment's next week, so I'll find out all my dosages then. But I am actually starting my IVF cycle next week. So yeah, it's exciting. Take care. And um, if you're doing your IVF at the same time, definitely let me know in the comments. Otherwise, speak to you soon. Take care. Good morning. It's egg collection day. Uh, we have just got up. You watch YouTube cues. This is the thumbnail. <laughs> We just got up and uh, Alana's going to have some breakfast. I can't. <laughs> I can't wait to eat. I feel really hungry already. I ate dinner really early, which is silly. I should have eaten a lot later. I'm quite thirsty as well, but it's worth it. Alana's just um, contemplating getting up, aren't you? It's early. <laughs> but, yeah, it's a collection of... I'm going to try and vlog um, a little bit at the hospital. And let you know how it goes. See you soon. Socks. <laughs> Chicks. Hatching. A collection. Okay, I thought it was funny and cute. <laughs> okay, so I'm all ready for a collection now. Um, just say goodbye to a lot. I'm so really sad. I hate doing that, but hopefully it'll only be for an hour. I'm hoping that's all it's going to be, and then I'll be able to go maybe an hour and a half. Um, yeah, it'll probably be about an hour and a half. Uh, but then I'll hopefully be able to go. Um, nervous, excited. Just have to wait and see how many eggs there are. Speak to you soon. I'm awake and 
some coffee and some biscuits and I feel completely zonked. <laughs> oh, this is gonna melt. Hi everyone, so we are back from egg collection. Uh, it took a, that was there about four hours, so a lot longer than I, I anticipated because they seem to take ages to take me into theatre. Um, I'm quite sore now, so I'm just trying to take it easy. And they had to do my cannula twice, so I've got bruises, but it's just one of those things. <laughs> it went well, and I'm just excited and scared for tomorrow when the embryologist phones. I just hope she's got good news for us and that we've got some embryos and I will update once we have that information. Hey everyone, hope you are. So it's the day after embryo transfer, so we are on day one. Yeah, day one <laughs> after embryo transfer. And I'm feeling okay. I'm still a bit quite a bit sore but it's manageable. I'm just trying to take it easy um my hand oh is so sore where they did the cannula because it tissued um and he had to redo it again in my arm because he said i was my uh hands were cold and he says that that it was difficult for him to find a vein i don't know but it really hurts every time i touch my hand or knock it or anything I'm like ah and then i've got this huge bruise on my arm as well uh from where they redid the cannula so that's really sore but so everything else wise I feel okay my ovaries are a bit a uh, bit sore you know I just feel like someone's kind of like stabbed me a few times in there <laughs> um, which is what pretty much did happen <laughs> with them penetrating the follicles to get the eggs out so but overall I'm feeling okay um I'm just trying like say, trying to rest and take it easy because big day so the embryologist phoned and said that uh, all of our eggs fertilized oh sorry I'll repeat that. All of our eggs were suitable for fertilization. So they we used MZ this time. So basically we ICSI is where they just inject the sperm directly into the egg, which is what they still do with MZ, but the difference is with MZ is they look at the sperm closer under a really high power microscope and that can give them a better view of the sperm and everything else and they can see its characteristics a lot more clearly which is really good so we did IMSI and all of my eggs were suitable for fertilization and they picked out the sperms from the IMSI injected them all and we have two embryos that have developed today so I'm super excited and I am going for transfer day three transfer which is what we did last time and my little embryos are coming home to me <laughs> I'm so excited it's like really scary up until the actual day of transfer because you're like panicking thinking that something could happen but hopefully fingers crossed we'll have two to transfer on embryo transfer day and they'll be fighting fit and strong and they can go back in so in terms of how that compares to last cycle um by day three we had three last cycle two were put back in and one didn't make it to be frozen this time we have two um hopefully that are both going to go back in on day three transfer fingers crossed so yeah that's our little update keep us in your thoughts and best wishes we really appreciate it and keep hoping for my strong embryos to keep continually to develop and to grow into babies fingers crossed healthy pregnancy <sighs> it's exciting take care and i will see you soon bye for now just on our way to the hospital to do embryo transfer it's absolutely pouring outside we can hear it it's stormy weather today so it's embryo, embryo is transfer time. I'm excited to find out how many we've got. I'm just waiting to be seen. Update soon. I'll show you the two embryos now. Oh, oh wow. wow. You've got the eight cell embryo at the top and the seven cell embryo at the bottom. Oh, hello, baby. Those are where they need to be for today. So best of luck to you. Thank you. <laughs> hello, babies. <laughs> One of the Enid Blythe collection, Adventures of the Wishing Chair. I read this book when I was pregnant with my daughter and I want to do the same again with my little peas. My little embryos, nicknamed them the little peas. And there's three stories in this one, but I think I read so many stories during my last pregnancy. I read this one, Roald Dahl ones, all kind of ones. So I'm look looking forward to carrying on that tradition with this pregnancy. Fingers crossed.
for you. That's fine, let's bring it. 